Hello children, it's our last day of going down by the river. Let's see what we see today. what a lot of bridges did you see the really big one that had arches all across the river and then there was a little tiny one that was like one step long and lots of middly ones in between lots and lots of bridges let's write our sentence about bridges today our sentence is down by the river which we've written every day i can see let's put a bridge shall we which is nine words again so you must be experts at writing this sentence by now. Let's start with the capital duffer down. Can you remember how to make the ow sound? Like when you bump yourself, we say ow, and it's an o and a w together. Down, down, down. Well done. Finger space, we're going to write by. B -b 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 -b. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, remember that the yeah sits on the line and its long tail hangs underneath. Down by finger space the t. I don't need to tell you how to write this now, do I? I bet you've raced ahead already. Down by turn her to make the th sound the. Down by the. We're going to break river into two parts. Can you remember we do the riv bit first? Don't forget your finger space though. R e v riv. That's the first part of the word. Now we need er. Uh, which, if you remember, we do with an e eh and uh, r to make the er uh sound. Down by the river. Finger space. I. Okay, let's go to the line underneath. We're going to write can, which is easy to sound out. K. An. I can. Finger space. C and an e and an e to make that e sound. I can see. Now we're going to write a bridge. Finger space a, which is easy, isn't it? Now we're going to write bridge, which is a bit tricky to sound out. So you ready? Finger space bridge. Well, you can hear that it starts with a b. And to make that brr, you need a b and a r together. Brr. What sound do you think you can hear next? Brr. Can you hear the i i i? Now, here's a sneaky letter. You can't really hear this letter, but it's in there. It's a d, d, d. Brid. Can't really hear it, can you? Bridge. What you can hear is a j sound, but it, we're not going to put a j on the end. We're going to put a g. Or the other way of saying it, the letter sound is a g. I told you it was a bit tricky, didn't I? And then we need an e on the end. Bridge. Bit of a tricky one, isn't it? Because that g says G sometimes, and that D is a silent letter because you can't hear it inside the word. Then we put our full stop at the end. Let's read that word together. Down by the river, I can see a bridge. Super sentence. Well, shall we have a go at drawing some bridges, children? Come on, then. Well, we did see lots of bridges today, didn't we? We saw some with arches on and some with just one arch. And we also saw a little footbridge. So I'm going to draw that little one that we saw at the end. So we're going to draw a diagonal line. And then we're going to kind of draw a bit like a slanted rectangle like that. This is our bridge and it's in planks. So you can draw a number 11 in the middle of it because that's our planks that cross over the bridge. Now, our riverbank is going to go along here 
this is our river and the same here and let's put some waves in here because this is the river bank and then you can put some grass growing up here some river re reeds there we go and that's our little footbridge across a river you need to cover color that bit in blue have your brown planks across the river and that's our little footbridge across well done children we've finished down by the river i'm going to see you next week